Let's magnify. Bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise. Let's worship and magnify him. Give him praise. Magnify him. Exalted him, give him a name higher than every other name. Let's glorify the name of the Lord, give him praise, give him glory. Be magnified, be glorified.
Be exalted, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We'll be singing from our hymn book, Sacred Songs and Solos, hymn five. are three the last three lines says by thy almighty grace and in earth darkest place let there be light in the darkest place let there be light open up your mind your mouth this evening and declare wherever there is dark in that darkest place let the light of God's word shine. Let the light of God's word shine. Let there be light. In the darkest place, let there be light. Declare it to yourself. Declare it upon yourself. That today shall be a very different day for you. And for us as a church. 
Thank you, Lord. Kabashata la Badakatas. There's an opening, opening of new chapter, opening of new dimensions. Opening of new depth. New openings. New openings. Something splits. Springing new. Something afresh. The bright light shine in every dark place. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Why don't you bless the Lord with a clap offering while you get seated? Appreciate Him as you are alive. As unto the Lord, give Him praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The topic tonight, no enchantment against you. No enchantment against you. The text is from Numbers 23, verse 23. Surely, there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any definition against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what had God wrath? According to this time, it shall be said of you, of us, what God has done. What God has done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What we are talking about tonight, in other words, is that the spell is broken. The spell is broken. When we talk about the spell, we talk about enchantment, is the act of enchanting or the feeling of enchantment. Of being enchanted the feeling of being enchanted something that enchants a magical spell influence induced by an incantation but the scripture make us to understand tonight that there is no enchantment no matter the spell no matter no matter the the thing that has been cast upon your life, upon your destiny, said there is no enchantment. We know the story of Israel concerning Balak, the king of Moab, that called Balaam to curse God's people. Balaam, being the king, saw the people close to him and he was, these people, how will he be able to, you know, deal with these people and take up the territories where they had already occupied? They had covered the earth, they had covered where they were. And there is, then he understood that these people, they are mighty people. The devil does not go after a common man. He does not go after anyhow person. He goes after people that knows, 
that have destiny with God. He always wants to go after them. But we know the story that Balak calling Balaam, he said, curse these people. Because I know whom you bless is blessed. Whosoever you curse is cursed. And Balak said, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord my God to do less or more. I cannot do less. I cannot do more. I will only do what God says. Upon what Balak tried to do, the Lord met with Balaam. Let's flip, get back to verse 16. Verse 16. And the Lord met Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said, Go again unto Balak and said thus and when he came to him behold he stood by his burnt offering and the prince of Moab with him and Balak said unto him what had the Lord spoken and he took up his parable and said rise up Balak and hear hearken unto me the son of Zippor God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. And he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received a commandment to bless. Note, I have received a commandment to bless and he had blessed and I cannot reverse it God has blessed and I cannot reverse it there is nobody that can reverse the word of God against you when God says you are blessed you are blessed whatever God says concerning you and I nobody can change it no matter the situation no matter what you know, the person tried to do behind you or in front of you where you are. At that very point, the person tried to do it against you because that is not what God says. So it can't, it can't come to pass and it can't stand. He said, Behold, I have received a commandment to bless. I'm excited about the word. Commandment to bless. And if God blesses me, then I need to relax. If God blesses you, says you are blessed, to so know and be rest assured that God has blessed indeed. So the blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. Let's look at verse 20, I mean 21. He had not behold iniquity in Jacob, Neither had he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is the Lord is God is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. The shout of a king is among you. Hallelujah. God brought them out of Egypt. He had it as it were the strength of an unicorn. And therefore, he says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. No, not any. Not any. Hardly any. Not any possibility or allowance or anything will allow the spell to be against you. The word says no enchantment against Jacob. You know, the man has tried in several ways at every inch of the way the Lord put the word in Balaam's mouth. And the Lord intervened at every inch of the way in sacrifices. 
He said, come and do this one. He bring seven days, bring seven that. He brought it. Simply to do what? To reach Jacob. To bring a curse. To bring a spell. There are things people do against you. You don't know. But God sees them. And God knows. What you cannot see, God sees. What you don't know, God knows. Where you cannot reach, God reach. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He knows and sees everything about you and I. So in all of the enemy, God intervened and intercepted the plan of Balak, king of Moab. He silenced their mouth. He stopped them. He deflated and diverted their plans. Such that no matter what they did, instead of what they did, favor came upon the people. Favor overtook them. He brought them by his own hand. They didn't fight by themselves. He just know that these people, they are my people. All I know, I need to step in for these people. And God stepped in. Told Balaam, I have blessed these people. So there's no way you can bring a spell on these people. There's no way you can bring a curse on them. He tried several ways. Even after God has declared no enchantment, he still came again and said, Paradventure, there is a way out so that you can curse these people such that I will be able to take over and possess the land. Praise the Lord. But in all of that, he did not succeed. Let's go over to Psalm 31. Verse 19. Psalm 31, verse 19 to 21. Which thou hast brought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion for from the strife of tongues. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 21. He said, Blessed be the Lord, for he hath shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. Marvelous kindness in a strong city. You know, before now, if you look at from verse 1 to there about verse 9, you see David build his trust on God. He said, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Because if it is my own, it's limited. But in your righteousness, deliver me. The bow thy ears to me, deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for a house of defense to save me. Verse 3 For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have led privily for me. For thou art my strength. In thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. For thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversity and hast not shut up into and has not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet 
in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly. In grief, in whatever, have mercy upon me. Thou hast set me in a large place, in a large room. God, the people said they were mighty and there were many in that place. And the king turned around and said, no. You have to curse these people. So that by the time you curse them, I will be able to go against them and defeat them and take over the land and possess. He said, but the scripture says, in the midst of this, even in a strong city, I will show you my marvelous kindness. In a strong city, in a strong situation that you feel, or you, that you have a feeling in your mind, in your spirit, your grief, God says, no enchantment. I have given you, I have planted your feet in a large place. And no enemy can take you out of it. I have already planted you to possess the land that whom God has blessed, no man can curse. So we see, we saw David build in God's intervention for him, for himself. He knows that without God, he cannot be delivered. Without God, in whatever is happening around him, he won't succeed. So he built his trust around God. Around the intervention of God. Psalm 44 From verse 1 to 3. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us what work thou didst in, thy, in their days and in times of old. How thou didst drive out the heathen from, with thy hand and planted them. How thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. For they got into the land. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. Because thou hast favored unto them. So we have heard what you have done to our fathers, how you delivered them, how you saved them in their own time. We've heard of testimonies of God's deliverance. How you drive the Eden and planted them in the land such that they possessed the land. Not by their sword. But by your own hand and by thy hand and the light of thy countenance the light of thy countenance because the moment the light shines in darkness darkness won't understand because thou art favored unto them because thou hast favored unto them. You can be under a spell and influence induced but the favor of God has located you. Even in the strong city God is with you. No matter what the enemy has tried to do the Lord is with you. 
The scripture says, Matthew 16, verse 18, it said, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Jesus Christ speaking. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church. The gate of hell shall not prevail against the church. You are the church. We are the church. No matter the spell, no matter the enchantment, they can't succeed against the church. The church will prevail but the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The church will take over, will possess the land, will take up the strong cities, will take up the places that they ought to occupy. No enchantment, no definition against Israel. Whatever and however it may be, at every inch of the way, God intervened. When they didn't know, you know, at some point, you know, he said, the house of gold and the house of silvers, I will give to you to cost these people. He has promised to give them gold, silver. He has promised to give Balaam. Gold and silver. But by the intervention of God, told Balaam, whatever I said, do. And Balaam said, I have received an instruction to bless, not to curse. I have received an instruction to bless, not to curse. These people, God has blessed them. So I can't reverse what God had done. I can't reverse it. Praise the Lord. Not any enchantment. Praise God. Let's go over to that scripture because we are going to pray. He says, Surely. There is no enchantment against Jacob. No enchantment. Neither is there any definition against Israel. No definition against Israel. Said to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what God has done. It shall be said, what God has done for you. It shall be said, come and see, the Lord is good to me, to you. Now there's how people will see you in a situation and write you off. But there will be a time. And that time is now. That people will come and see and say, what God has done for you. For your family and for your generation. I want you to lift up your voice and declare and speak today. Because God has said it, and so I reaffirm what God says no enchantment. They might as well do the enchantment behind you. They try to they speak those words such that something will happen in the future. But you are declaring it shall not be so. Stand up and declare. 
Stand up and speak concerning your destiny. Concerning your life. Pray for yourself first. That no matter the enchantment, it shall not. It shall not prevail. As you're praying, the Holy Spirit will be alighting some things within you. And if you cannot pray, ask the Holy Spirit to help you to pray tonight. That no enchantment. See, the people, they were not aware that a man is going around trying to lobby, trying to pay such that, so, so that they will come, they will bring a curse upon them. They were there in their numbers. They were there where they were planted. But the enemy was busy going around. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said it? And shall he not do it? He has spoken and shall he not make it good? God has spoken. Open up your mouth and declare no enchantment against me. No enchantment against me against you. Pray for yourself. Despair is broken. The enchantment is destroyed. Against your life, against your destiny. Pray for yourself. When you finish praying for yourself, pray for your family. And all that belongs to you, pray for them. Shila Kado Zapratalas. They were deemed, they didn't only go against Jacob, they go against the entire Israel. Balak, every of them, and all their elders, they were interested in Jacob and the entire Israel. Shebokoziatabalanakates. Bundukurata Gedelia Bahrende Kedoziata Bragadum Zamalian Rokos Gapalagabaratas in the face of the sea, on the mountains, wherever, no enchantment. Brekedozia la Baraka to Mazando Kobalata. No matter what the sacrifice to make enchantment, to bring spell against you, it will not stand. Rameno siglados kipa lakadas. Egonama radado sigabaragatas. Zenos gebleando sabaragado legebedia zaparana huska paragadas. 
Leko zebra ka baraga do bele hilo shatas. Leko sobra tamala ko zita legeredesh. Raga baro zebra no ski balata no sigedes. Lemo zita babarakatas. Le moko zibra monde hilo sigabada hu shatana. Jele de burrenia la kuz katabaratas. Le membe dunda karagadu zebra nunia da kabandu kuz kabarakadas. God said it, I believe it. No enchantment. Beloroko Subaladasha Limbo Singa Patelo Zita Baradash Rebe de Hesuziata Balakatis Wherever they are standing to do it, it will not work. A God will silence their mouth. Their plans shall be deflated. Stop the plans. Deflate the plans. Let it be diverted. Ziloko baratas. Baligamoku shembe lohuska barakas. Engrononga bashimbrondoko ziata baragadias. Atumba legadesha. We declare the enchantment is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Against your life. Against your family. Against your business. Whatever anybody is, has spoken concerning your business, concerning your family, your marriage, that spell is broken. That spell is broken. Declare it. The spell is broken. It's broken. Now, in the name of Jesus, we declare the spell is broken. Because God says no enchantment against Jacob, against Israel. Right now, that spell is reversed. The spell of the enemy is broken. The spell of the wicked is broken. Whatever anybody has done in the secret against your life, against your destiny, Concerning your future, it shall not stand. Declare it. Speak the word of God. God has blessed you, so no one can curse you. A curse causeless shall not stand. Declare. Because God has blessed me, no curse can stand over my life. 
the curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. The enchantment is destroyed. The spell is broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will tell a little story about two sisters. The eldest was beautiful, but the younger one was, you know, approached by a man to get married to. And then the elder sister saw that the younger sister would get married before her. And so she carried the name of the sister, went into the toilet and picked up the feces. And used the thing, mixed up with water and smeared on the sister's name and began to talk. And from that moment that she finished that thing, the man started, you know, really, you know, wasn't more interest, no more interested in marrying the sister. And she was pondering, and you know, she after a while, I think she they said she went, you know, praying and inquiring from the Lord, and then one day the sister had to confess went and took the thing and brought what she did and put it, stored it somewhere with the feces. That was a satanic spell. That the sister couldn't get married again simply because the eldest sister was angry. Sometimes we don't know what anybody has done against you. But God says no enchantment. There is no, she says surely, if you read the scripture, it says surely there is no enchantment. I want you to pray again for yourself. That no matter whatever the influence may be against me, that thing be broken today. Pray for yourself. As God is highlighting those things in your spirit, pray concerning it. As the Spirit of God is highlighting it in your spirit, pray concerning it. You may not see it, but God sees. Whatever anybody, any enchantment, so Balak came, he said, these people curse them. But I'm interested in what God says. No enchantment. Whatever the enemy is doing, I am not interested. God, no enchantment. The word of God says, surely there is no enchantment. In my marriage, no enchantment. Upon my children, no enchantment. Is it your career? No enchantment. Your promotion? No enchantment. Every definition stops now. Whatever anything anybody is invoke, any incantation done against your life, your destiny stops now. It stops now. Yes. Yes, Lord. It comes to an end now. Not tomorrow. Now. Belohosika bashwandias. Lungu barakatulia. Barakato bashobakoniata. You live in a house, you don't know. They are doing incantation, invocation. Against your life in that house, in that compound. That thing stops now. That spell stops now. Yes, Lord.
no matter the coverage, no matter the influence, the veil be broken now. Whatever anybody, whatever anything, any veil that has been done covered you today, the veil be broken now. I shock over that heart, so many that veil over your marriage be broken now. The veil over your life, the veil over your destiny, the veil over your marriage be broken now. Be broken now. By the favors of God, by the marvelous kindness of God, even in the strong city, there is nothing stronger than the mighty hand of God. By the strength of God, that spell be broken now. We declare, we stop the veil, we stop the spell, we declare it broken now. Over your finances stops now. We declare it stops now. I decree in the name of Jesus. The spell be broken. The spell be broken. Okomala Manuka Shokundola Konea. Embronko dobo subratana. E Joko Balata. Jean Balele Konene de Hosiata. E Joko lo barahaba. E braga barata. Let their mouth be silent. We stop their mouth. We stop their mouth. Their mouth shall no more be open against you. We stop the mouth of the wicked. Hey, Abogorodoro Shaparata. Embrondo Locotola has sick about Embaloro Hose. Embrondo Kodamara. Embrando Borokova. Embrando Dodoro. Hoborobodo Shaparata. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. You shall decree a thing, it shall be established. Decree tonight, and it shall be established for you. No enchantment, no enchantment, no spell, no divination against Israel. Every enchantment against the church, every divination against the church. Lord, we decree tonight, it shall not stand, it shall not prevail. We stop the gate of hell. We prevail against them now. We stop the gate of hell. We stop the gate of hell. We stop the gate of hell. From the north to the south, west and east, we stop the gate of hell that prevail against the church. Every wrong influence, every satanic influence against the church, tonight we declare, it shall not stand. Aboko dobo shal balata, embrondo kole balatas, ekabolo kodo dobo chota, hale dodo dobo shuanda kata. Declare, let the light of God shine in every dark places, in every dark corners of your family, in every dark corners of your life, uh, in every dark corner of your life, of your destiny, of your marriage, whatever darkness that has covered your life that has covered your destiny covered your marriage covered your joy covered your oh hey ababababa shoka ebolo horaba ebrakabarata we declare that the light of god shine the light shine in darkness and darkness could not comprehend we declare the light of god shine in every family the light of god shine in every life, everyone that is connected to this commission, every man, every woman, we declare the light of God shine. Wherever there is incantation, wherever there is prayer, Lord, tonight we declare the light of God shine. In in your health, a koto liya baraba situa, a brongodoma sata, a kaluka parata, a gosuni abarande hedea, a brondo lokota barata. In the righteousness of God, let the light of God shine. Haya baba baba baba, shodobo koni nada da, a brondo tole arakata, a braka barata, 
let the light of God shine on your ways. Let the light of God shine on your ways. Hey, in your ways, in your ways, in your life, everything that concerns you, everything that concerns your life, everything that concerns us, we uproot every satanic influence against the church. We uproot every demonic influence against the church. We declare the gate of air. You will not prevail against us. We stop you now. We bring the light of God against you. We bring the light of God against you. We decree the light of God against you. We decree the light of God against you. In all our ways, in all that concern us as a church, as commission, declare it. Declare. Declare. We deflate your plan. We divert your plan. We stop your plans now. Hello, Hobo Susia Thomas. Jokonima Mama Zosi Brapabadas. He grows yando lema di ataba. Rabba rakadoni ma zozia la kabadonia leketoli rababara. The blessed be the Lord, for He has shown me His marvelous kindness in a strong city. Let's open a mouth and declare and ask the Lord. I see Your marvelous kindness in this situation. I see Your favor. Your favor overtakes me now. In that business, Your favor overtakes me. In that career, your favor overtake. In that marriage, your favor. We declare your favor. We declare your favor. Concerning the daughter of Tyre, he said they shall come. They will come with favor. They will come with favor. At that place that you are standing, in that place that you are, people will come with favor. Men will come with favor. I am Paladolia. Their wickedness shall be diverted into favor. Their wickedness shall be diverted into favor. It shall be changed into favor. It shall be changed into favor. Libo Koto Manadahas. Embrondo Koti Baba Sika Balatas. Ladendo Kona Mamba Baba. In that strong city. Marvelous light, marvelous kindness. The light shines. Hayeno zitas, emono si abaratis, rabaratu gia bashura ba, lebevromo si arakatu maratas. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lastly, the Bible says that. Lift up your head, O ye get. Let the king of glory come in. There was another voice that said, Who is the king of glory? Then they raised one again. He said, Lift up your head, O ye get. Let the king of glory come in. For the king of glory to come in, the gate of hell must be lifted. He said, Who is the king of glory? The Lord mighty strong in battle the lord of hosts is his name is coming with his entourage lord by the entourage of heaven tonight i declare let every gate of hell be lifted by the host of heaven i declare that the gate of hell be lifted over my hell the gate of hell be lifted over my spiritual life that the light of God, the glory of God will shine. Let the gate of hell be lifted. Lift up your head, O oh you gate. 
Let the King of Glory come in. Lift up your head. Oh, you get. Let the King of Glory come in. because you are the generation of him that seek God we seek your face because we seek your face Lord the gate of hell be lifted now that call upon me and you shall be saved Paya la nozita, kabo no koni ala kusiatas, azoko bala mani ante kuro deyas, jolo bobo bobo suba la kas, embrango noro suba la kas, jiki alo Maria to maraki alo zika terheres, so suba la danana has. When he opens, no man can close. Declare it upon yourself today. Because he has opened, your life shall be flooded with the favor of God. Declare that your life shall be flooded with favor. Divine favor. By the intervention of God this night. Divine favor. Divine favor. Divine favor. Declare it. Divine favor. Divine favor. In that strong city, marvelous kindness. In the righteousness of God, you are delivered. The spell is broken. The spell is broken. Over your life, over your family. He said, I've received a command to bless. He said, no enchantment. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. 
give God praise. Second Chronicles chapter 16. Second Chronicles 16. And we are going to read verse 9. Second Chronicles 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Now there is something that we need to understand about the children of Israel at that point. There is not one person who knew that there was a Balak or a Balaam on top of the hill. As the scripture says, it was the cool of the evening. And they all just came out and spread all over to enjoy themselves children playing up and down. Nobody knew there was, a, there was anything like a curse going on up there. Now, but there's something that we just read. He said, my eyes, the eyes of God rope throughout the whole earth to and fro to show himself strong. On behalf of everybody, no. To, on behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Because anyway, we pray today against the enchantments that have existed. There are no shortage of Balaams in this world and Balaks. Tomorrow morning, new ones arise. And they start a new regime. What do I have to do? Live a life so that my heart is perfect towards God so that I have an automatic coverage. What we are talking about is automatic coverage that came upon them. Not one of the persons they knew that there was anything going on. Not one person. Even Moses didn't know. The rest of them, all the priests, all the prophets, nobody knew that there was anything going on. We are never ever conscious of when things are done. Like the example that he gave. How did the girl know that the sister had done anything inside the same house? They are still eating from the same plate. Smiling at each other. Laughing at each other. Sharing clothes sometimes. Sisters. There's no shortage of people playing games. There will always be. But what life do I live such that God is always doing it for me? We have one problem. One day, the Holy Spirit manages to show you what somebody is doing. You shout. Is that when the person is doing it? The fellow had long since finished it. I gave the example of that church. in They did some kind of program, so everybody appeared. The church leaders, everybody, they ran in to take group photograph. They took group, group photograph. How did anybody know that an idol priest will get the group photograph? And where did, this, where did the photograph end up? In a, in a shrine. And when somebody eventually saw the thing, and when, no, not somebody eventually saw it, one of the persons that did the thing finally decided to repent. And he came to the pastor two years after 
and said, this is the picture of this church that we used for incantation. That is, <laughs> the guy said, that was Sunday. Monday morning, he heard so noise inside the church. And he went to check what was going on. People were coming to fast because of the incantation that was done two years ago. <laughs> two years ago, wouldn't all of them have died? That's the thing I'm talking about. The perpetual coverage of God. We are going to pray. Whatever is there in my life that has stopped my heart from being right with God, perfect towards God, whatever it is, however I hold on to that thing, whatever appeals to me so much that because of that, my heart is not perfect towards God. Father, I want an enmity between me and me. Not about another person, no. me only. Because I am the only person that controls my heart. There is nobody that controls your heart from outside. You do it. You are the one that will determine this one I am not doing again. Father, help me against me. Show me to me. David said, who knows his hidden sins? I, I, from now on, I want to live a life that my heart is perfect towards you. That in every situation, I know that you have taken care. Whatever they want to do, open your mouth and pray. God has to separate you from you. And make you hate that side of you that is a problem. Hate it so much that you don't do it again. He said, my eyes would have covered you, but you have done very badly. So that coverage is no longer there. I should have shown myself strong on your behalf, but I don't want to do it because you have done badly. I don't want to be in that group of those who have done badly. I have done badly enough already. I don't want to continue there. Thank God for his mercies, for his wonderful kindness, marvelous mercy. That even in this strong city, he has kept us till now. But I want to walk in such perfectness of heart towards him. A perfection in my heart towards God, always, at all times. So many of us, there have been so many things against us. So many of us, there are things that will happen even tomorrow morning. They will start a fresh one. And you think that the fellow who did the last one and fell will stop there. He will continue. How many times did Balaam, Balaam do that thing? From location to location to location to location. You finish prayers today, the man fell. Tomorrow morning he starts a new season. He says, okay, the other one was not strong enough. He will think of something else. Balak says, okay, increase the quantity. He increased. That happens still today. But Father, whatever is not is in me, whatever life I have thought is wonderful for me, but it has stopped me from my heart being perfect with you. I don't want it again. I have to hate that side of life. If there's something like anointing for hatred, I want to receive it so that I can hate that aspect of me. I want a permanent association, me and God, in perfect heart. your children, for your family, for your household, for your siblings, those who are willing to follow God.
whatever it is, however it is, no matter how I love the, uh, that aspect of my life, it must come to an end tonight, though. That aspect of my life must go. Enticing as it is, sweet. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That scripture that we read, there is no enchantment against Jacob, no divination against Israel. That's the prayer that we are going to pray. Uh, you see two names used there of the same person, Jacob and Israel. Jacob, the physical being. Israel, the spiritual side. We are going to pray. We are human beings frail, prone to every error and mistake. That's Jacob. So sometimes we are also very spiritual. That's Israel. Father, even when I have become completely carnal, so although we, are, we become faithless, he remains faithful in your faithfulness. Carry me by your tender mercies. Nothing against the physical side, Jacob. Against the spiritual side, Israel. Nothing. There is no hold. Me, whether you think I am not being spiritual or being spiritual, at any point in my life, full coverage. Let's pray for ourselves. Because there are times that you do something that makes you completely non-spiritual. There's a way you think at a certain point. You are not spiritual in any way. In whatever state I am in. I like that scripture that says, Lord, I have, my feet have gone in the wrong direction, but I am focused upon you. That's all. I am focused upon you at all times. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, thank you for tonight. That the deliverance wrought tonight shall be permanent. But we will not only receive deliverance tonight. We'll live such a, a life that this deliverance is continuous. That not at any time shall any spell have prevailing power over us again. Whatever things had happened in the past, that is history. But from here on, no more. Help us, Holy Spirit, that we move not away from the path of God, from the path of the life of God. That he will always show himself strong on our behalf in Jesus' name. We shall not do badly, but we shall prevail through God. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to give our offering. I'm a conqueror by nature. I'm a conqueror by name. I'm a conqueror by name. I'm a conqueror.
best way to lead conqueror in God at all times. Whoever is playing games is playing on to nothing. They lose so much. And that's why what we don't understand. Why should that man react like that? You don't know how much he lost. Can you imagine how much that king lost because of that thing? Bala. So much. Not only the time, the sacrifices, all the things, and he was willing to lose even more. I'll give you gold and silver. He said, that man, you won't be tired. He has done everything. He, he's still doing it. He will do it anyway. That's not your business. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that we're able to give. And thank you for making us indeed conquer us through you. Lord, again, we are Jacob, we are Israel. In either situation, we are with you. Our focus is upon you. And may your wonderful, marvelous mercies never depart from our lives. But help us, Holy Spirit, that we can leap unto that life of righteousness and true holiness unto God. That it may be well with us at all times. That every definition, every enchantment, be nullified permanently for the rest of our lives. We are of that family that cannot be touched by evil. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And as we've given today, my blessings come upon us. May blessings come upon the church. And may growth come to, for the work of the kingdom. In Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with you, now and forevermore.